this is Thrifty as me, Esmeralda. Hi! I'm from the Houston area and I do reselling as a fun hobby. I am on Macari and this weekend, yesterday, actually I wasn't feeling very well. I went home Friday early from work because my feet, teeth were hurting and I'm gonna have root canals on Monday too. And so yesterday I started to try to film, but I wasn't in the mood. So uh, today I'm gonna show you what I picked up. My husband and I went to this community sale. Happy Saturday, I'm Thrifty as me, and I feel bad because I have some toothache. I'm gonna have root canals on Monday. However, I am out here at the community yard sales. Yay! Beautiful lakeshore uh, uh, community. Only 10 miles from our house. So on Friday, uh, we found out there was going to be a big community sale at this place where we have loved going a couple years back. And so this year we, we got to make it on Saturday. And they even have a map so that you know when you drive into the community which way to go. Because on the other side, they have all the street addresses and they show you some things that the people said they're going to sell. Now let me tell you, there's 60... There's about 60 on this list. And when we were driving around, we found more addresses than just these. Uh, it was awesome. The thing is, it's a uh, community that's very tight. The, the streets are real narrow. It's, it's an, like an upper class sea uh, by the bay uh, community. And the houses are each individual beach house type. And so uh, we just had a great time stopping and we we were so choosy we would look at a garage sale that normally on a normal day you would have gone to this time we were like no nah, let's go to the next one that's how juicy this garage sale uh, community was so as i was saying uh at the first the very very first thing i bought was this uh jack in the box <laughs> I wanted to finish the song. This is a Curious George Jack in the Box. He was only $3 and uh, he has a little hole in his head. Oh no. Mommy's going to have to sew him up before she can sell him. So um, hopefully some kid will want this. And at that same garage sale. Uh, do y'all follow Dizzy Angie? She's a great YouTuber. Dizzy Angie. I saw this sign and I thought of her. It says wipe your flip flops. Isn't that cute? So, uh, it reminded me of Miss Angie. Hi! Okay, then the very next garage sale. Oh my god, I walked in and I saw this. Look, y'all. It is made out of, gosh, I don't know, some kind of metal. And I told the lady how much, and she said, oh, a dollar. And I said, oh my God, in my mind, I was like, and I said, okay. And so she said, look around, there's more cinema stuff. Let me tell you, there is. Okay, so she she said a dollar, so I was like, I'm gonna grab stuff, and at the end, she'll probably make me a nice deal. Oh, look at this cinema sign, almost brand new. Admit one. Thank you. Double feature. You see how this is like raised? They're like glued on top. Okay. Now get ready. This was the best part. They're like uh, four holes so that you can hang it on the wall. Two of them. So, oh wait, two more items, not movie related. Same house. Look at this beautiful sunfish, I'm not sure. But I do know this is a lionfish. So all 
that was $15. It came out to like $2, $2, $2, $2, but $15, the lady was so sweet. I heard her tell another customer that she's a real estate agent and they find things in people's houses. Me, and uh, this morning as I was listening to Prime Type Treasure Hunter Dominic, hi Dominic. Uh, he was talking about the importance of making connections uh, for the future. He had uh, put out an ad and, oh, please, you got to go watch his YouTube channel, join his Facebook group. He's, he's a brilliant genius. And he was talking about he had put out an ad and somebody had responded and it turned out to be a real estate agent who had things to sell. And so now Dominic made a purchase and in the future hopes to be able to, the guy will be able to call him when he finds more things. Uh, so anyway, uh, I didn't I didn't do all that. I'm just saying I heard her say she's a real estate agent. So that's why she was not connected to these items. She was able to give me a good price. So next I want to show you some shoes I picked up. Now this is not now in no order because by now we were just driving and buying. And, and uh, so these are a Earth. Earth Origins, size 8, pair of sandals, a dollar. These are Old Navy, size 9. I tried them on, but I don't really like them that flat. So I will try to sell them. And then these, also $2, the same lady as the Black Navy. And since um, I don't normally put much educational information in my videos, I'm going to do so right now and show you how many of you take pictures of your shoes and you don't have something to make them stand up and look good. Well, I went ahead and bought these acrylic shoe holders and uh, they make t picture taking, oh my God, which shoe would you buy if you saw these? It's the same pair. But look how much better the presentation looks. I also got these t Converse All-Star tennis shoes in very, you know, okay condition. They were $2. And again, check out how much more pizzazz this shoe has. Of course, you can put tissue paper in here and make the toe box more full. But if you just slip in a quick insert, you get a very good picture too. I wish these were my size. I bought some cute um, swim trunks. They are Polo Ralph Lauren Adala. And at that same sale, I bought this shirt for $2. I liked it because it has the vehicles and it says it's by Comic Shine and it says Big Surf, San Francisco, Laguna Beach. Very, very well kept. Extra large, $2. You guys, you're not going to believe, you're not going to believe how much I paid for this Michael Kors purse. I saw it hanging and I didn't even know how much until I went up to the pay for it and the ladies, <laughs> they were just there having fun. It is a Michael Kors. It feels like leather. Maybe it's suede. I don't know. One dollar. Oh, I love it. I might keep this. Oh boy, here I go again. And then I found at a different place this nice blue and silver wristlet. It's a no-name brand, but I like wristlets like that. And this was free. Yay! It's like a little cosmetic pouch. Very clean, so free. And then this beauty. It's a Christian... Seriano silhouette. I don't know. It probably came with a, a purchase of something or other and it was for two dollars So oh, yeah, I'm gonna keep this one for sure to take my packages to and from the mailbox. I mean the post office Okay, one of my most favorite things I found um, I saw it from the from when we were driving down the street and I'm like, oh stop stop and 
Check this out. Oh my gosh. Wait, please wait for the dial tone. It's a metal sign. It's as big as me. And I was thinking in my head, oh, please, $5, no more than five. And I said, how much? And she said, how about five? I said, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Yay. Should I sell it or should I keep it? I love it. Oh. A bunch of other little knickknacks. Look at this beautiful Bible, the Living Bible, 1971 beautiful a feel. I might keep it because I don't have this one, the Living Bible Translation. Found this cute jewelry hanger for Adala. Look how she looks like Medusa. Ooh. Found this teacher's cup. I know, mug life. Don't go there. But I did because it says three good reasons for being a teacher, June, July, and August. And I got this shower speaker built-in Bluetooth for the, I don't know. It said five. She let me have it for three. I don't know if I have to keep this for sure or to sell it. So I'm going to look to see what the solds are. And if it's not that good, I'm going to keep it. Because that way I can listen to my YouTube sell reseller friends while I'm in the shower. A bunch of other little things like this cute ring that was a quarter. Texans, go Texans! A quarter. These four little uh, perfumes, they are Estee Lauder. My mom loves Estee Lauder, so she'll be getting a little present. A bunch of jewelry. Isn't that pretty? This one is pretty because of the uh, eagle, and then it turns, and it's 1776, so you see? It flips. I think that was a 50 cents. I bought a bag full of chokers. There's nine of them in here for a dollar. This is the kind of stuff I can give as free gifts to when it's a lady who buys something, I can throw in a little choker. I think we're at the point where I can show you the best of everything. The best, it was the very last garage sale. I had $21 on me. And I saw a box and it was in the, in, you know, kind of in the middle of all the stuff they had. And I started digging in the box and I found a bunch of watches, a lot of them loose, but some were in boxes. And that's when I decided to open them. And when I opened them, I saw that they still had the protective uh, wrapping around. I don't know if you can see it, but it still has the protective wrapping. It still has the little plastic to where you pull it out it's in great condition it's a no-name brand i think i saw that it said om l but look at the chronograph ah can you see the three little dials in the middle so i looked up real quickly in the truck i, I looked up and it, they're going for maybe 20 so i mean unless i looked at the wrong thing there's another one the man said his father had bought clock uh, watches and never used them. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is another chronograph by Stauer. That's a nice one. Here's another nice one. Again, still has the little thing that you pull out, still has the film on it. I think this one is also that Om Ale, which is not a big one. Stour is a big name. And let me tell you that this was the buy of the century for me. So I, I saw this one and I, I said, ooh, the box is all coming apart. I got the Stour piece over here. But it just looked so cool. It looked like a, like the, on a boat. You know what they steer with, the steering wheel, <laughs> I forget what you call it, but it just looks so good. So red leather band, and this one is, like I said, Stour Premium. So when we got in the truck, I looked it up and I couldn't believe a 
similar pre-owned watch went for 182 so i'm going to be i'm going to be hoping and praying that this brings me a lot of money for the five dollars each watch was five dollars so that's it i wait i i used all my money So I forgot to tell you all that Saturday, after two and a half hours of that garage sailing, we got home, unloaded the truck, and I was tired. I didn't want to uh, take any pictures. I wanted to just be a blob. And so what we did was we watched a movie on our new TV. Check it out. It's humongous. Look. <laughs> I can't even it is like 65 inches or something and it was it was sitting in the driveway nobody was asking about it because you know how much is it going to be but ricky asked and they said well our son's moving out we're trying to get rid of it give us 25. oh so he walked over to me what do you think i said yeah 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 get it get it get it <laughs> so we loaded it up not knowing if it worked they said it did and sure enough we came home and we watched a movie Lord of the Rings, Fellowship Part 1. So, ah, oh, that was just an awesome find. And so we moved our 50-inch TV out of here into our bedroom. So now with me and my bad eyesight, I can see very well whatever we're watching in, in the bedroom. The other great find that Ricky made were these coffee cups on a tree. Let me show you. So, check it out. They are heavy. That's why I didn't get them. I said, they're going to be too heavy to ship. I'm not going to get them. But Ricky got them for us, and I'm so glad he did because, look, they have this cute design, like a little, like a little figure. Ah. You know, like blowing into a horn, a flute. They are this odd shape very heavy and it's by some i don't know it's signed on the bottom but they are great great coffee cup find and they go with our style 